everybody in Buenos Aires, as you can see, we've got some of them behind me. All the work has now finished on her. The travel lift is sitting behind her, and she's going back in the water tomorrow. Uh, everything's done. Uh, we're just going to have a quick look at the uh, how they finished the legs up, etc. All the bits and pieces done. All the cables have been replaced. All the engines have been refurbed. The whole thing has been completed. It took about two weeks, uh, maybe, a, and an extra day, so about 15 days in total. Uh, and then we move on to the next stage. We'll give it a break for about a week before we start the next stage. There's a couple of bits and pieces to do, which I'll fill you in at the end of this video. But right now, she'll be going back in first thing in the morning. I won't be here because uh, she's going to be uh, sea trialed by the guys at Celtic Marine who did all the refits on the engines. They want to sea trial them and make sure they're okay. But once that's been done, then we'll be ready to take her out. We're going to take her out, I think, on Friday. We're going to run her down to Ferragudo, have a bit of a day on her. Uh, before we start doing any more work then we'll be doing some jobs next week before we start the next phase which will be the glass bridge etc and we'll get that sorted out see you soon guys bye for now so then everybody you can see there now that some of the work's been completed the travel lift is sitting behind her it's just been serviced today so otherwise she would have been lifted in this afternoon but she's due a service that is the travel lift not the boat um all the work is complete so they've just given her a quick wash down they've not gone crazy we'll get her in the water tomorrow after she's been sea trialed by the guys at celtic marine and we'll give her a quick clean over make sure uh, the windows need polishing etc it's just a little bit of uh, dust on them still where they've just rinsed it down and not done a particularly fantastic job of cleaning it but we'll get that done tomorrow not a big deal we'll get a sponge on it and, and clear all that off and and squeegee them off afterwards and then we will take her out later this week and see what she's capable of all the work has been completed on the engines that was all finished a few days ago the legs were then being uh, refurbished and, and stripped down and for those of you who saw them before you can see now they are absolutely pristine look at that brand new i'll walk around the other side Just give me while well a squeeze between these and you can see there that those legs are absolutely perfect now they look like brand new all the particles have been cleaned off the stainless steel that was there not much of them and they've replaced the anodes on them as well while they're at it rest of the boat looking pretty good where fabio did the wrap and she will be ready to go back in that's all the major engineering work done uh, on there so the next lot of stuff is all cosmetic so we've got to do the uh, the false teak's got to come off we're going to got some replacement stuff on that as a temporary measure later this season when she comes out we will be having the proper guys from sea deck come down and relay the deck in a light gray uh, composite rather than a, a teak effect but we've got some teak effect for now just to make it match up with the other bits and those uh, teak bits that were left the original teak that's all splintered uh, and starting to look really shabby and, and basically gets splinters stuck in people's feet that's coming off and we're going to put some fake teak on there for now just some self-adhesive rubbish just to, so we can continue to use her for the rest of this season uh, before she comes out at the end and gets the new sea deck down at the same time as she gets reupholstered and the pilot seats and the navigator seats get replaced with new ones but she's looking pretty good she's looking pretty special You can see her there. Time now to put some water under a hull for the rest of this uh, next few months or so, two months, before we start the next lot of work on her. Things are pr progressing pretty quick and within budget, which is good. So we have a budget. I'll run through that on a separate video and I'll do a breakdown for you on everything we've spent on her and what it's cost her to bring her up to what is effectively a new boat. Because by the time we finish with her, she's going to be other than she's just she's got anything other than a new boat and. The only thing that I'll need doing then is that little cuddy cabin at the front uh, will recover those seats. I think we're going to have a go at steam cleaning them. They look a bit a bit worn, but I, I think they may come up with a steam clean. But if not, we'll recover those as well. It's not a massive job. They are simply fix it on Velcro. So very simple to get those recovered and make it look brand new. The carpet in there is effectively brand new. There's nobody ever goes down there. It's just not big enough to spend that much time down there for any length of time. So that's done. Anyway, guys. That's us for today. Just a quick update. She'll be back in tomorrow, sea trialed, and I'll have hold of her sometime in the afternoon. And we'll give her a good clean up. Then on Friday, we're gonna take her down to Ferragudo. We'll put the drone in the air and we'll show you what she looks like on the water with her new color scheme. Bye for now, guys.